If you're someone who enjoys jigsaw puzzles and have always wanted to put together jigsaw puzzles on your PS4, well, now you have the opportunity to do so as Puzzle Showdown 4K is now available. But does this game have all the right pieces, or is this jigsaw missing a few? Puzzle Showdown 4K is, well, a puzzle game where you're going to be putting together jigsaw puzzle after jigsaw puzzle. The game features a pretty large variety of pictures that you'll be able to turn into jigsaw puzzles and then put back together. There's a decent amount of music also to listen to and you can even change which type of music you would prefer to listen to while putting together all of these puzzles. The pictures themselves are broken up into a variety of different categories such as animals or cities or wacky. After selecting which picture you want to put together, you then select how many pieces of the puzzle you're going to want to deal with, such as having a low amount like 28 or 60, or going all the way up to 510 pieces for you to put back together. You can also decide whether or not the pieces can be rotated, so you'll have to not only find where they go, but also make sure they're rotated in the right direction. There's also two modes, either the score mode, where you're going for a high score, you get streaks for lining up puzzle pieces in a row or doing them quickly and accurately, as well as there's the more relaxing, non-scoring mode, where it's just kind of a casual puzzle and you can put it together for as long as you would like to. If you're doing a big puzzle, like a 510 piece puzzle, you can save and exit at any point and then come back to it later on, though you only get one save, so once you go back in, that saves a race and you would have to save again, or if you select a different puzzle to go into, your previous data will be erased. Honestly, the most interesting thing about the game, though, is the multiplayer aspect. You can play up to four players on the same system, though unfortunately there is no online. The way that it works is you're all on the same puzzle with the same set of pieces. You're not all working on your own individual puzzles. So when you have a piece, none of your friends are going to have that same piece. And you only have three pieces at a time. So the more you lay down in the correct spots, the more pieces you'll stop your friends from being able to get and thus being able to see how high of a score that you're able to obtain. There's of course also the line bonuses and speed bonuses still included in this mode. And in fact, you can even steal lines from your friends. If they put together a couple of pieces in a row, you can then put a piece onto that and you'll get the credit for the line bonus. If you don't want to do it competitively though, you can turn off the scoring mode and you all work on the same puzzle, so it's more of a cooperative style of mode for the puzzles. And that's basically it. It's a jigsaw game with a decent variety of pictures to it, but if you're not in the jigsaw puzzles, this is definitely one game you're not going to want to check out, and there's not a story mode or anything else thrown into the mix to really make it much more interesting than what it is. From the technical side of things though, the game did run smoothly, I didn't run into major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. Puzzle Showdown 4K is available now on the PlayStation 4 and PC, and it does actually feature a trophy list with a Platinum Trophy on the PS4, and it's another really easy Platinum to get. Overall, it's an okay jigsaw puzzle game. The game does some highlighting of the pieces if you have them in the right spot, and even shaking the controller if you have a piece in the right spot, and some of this stuff can be toggled to make the game more difficult, so it's a nice kind of mix of being able to be for jigsaw puzzle experts, as well as the more casual fan can at least still finish some puzzles. In the end, Puzzle Showdown 4K really doesn't do anything inherently wrong, it just really isn't all that interesting. But for what the game is, I'm going to be giving it an average 5 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course I hope you enjoyed.